Hey guys, welcome back to the show where Camera Store uh, shows Broom with Yuho from Camera Rescue doing the top 10 most clicked or searched cameras of 2019. And in number three, we have the Contax T2 point and shoot. Do remember there's an article and a video on the Camera Store uh, website, which I'll link below, but you have alternatives. If you don't want to go with the video, you can just read it there. So yeah, the T2, the famous point and shoot of 2019. Yeah, I mean, it got a lot of um, like visibility with uh, famous people. And if someone uh, Instagrams, you know, and has 10 million followers, you know, uh, some people are bound to Google what camera is that context T2. And then when some people Google it, there's articles about it on the photography yeah. like place and then the community googles it and then they google it when the price goes up and they're like oh the price is so high and then they start making articles like this video of like alternatives <laughs> to the context t2 the context t2 killer and all that thing yeah all the celebrities have been using it even on like i think the night shows with people have made the price go up. They used to sell, I remember, to around 200-ish, 250-ish euros five years ago, maybe. Yeah, but that was way underpriced. I it mean, was it, underpriced for sure. Like, these were expensive back in the day. Like, yeah. like properly expensive. Like, the Olympus Mew 2s and, like, basic models uh, were nowhere near the price of these, yeah. like, special So, cameras. apart from people looking for the Contax T2 because of the hype and, you know, the fame... Uh, people that are actually looking for it for the features are looking for a premium point and shoot. Yep. They're looking for the fact that you can change the aperture and the lens. So this lens has the fact that you can change the aperture by hand and then the camera will do basically aperture priority. Yep. You can manually focus by guesstimating sort of. It has a little wheel on the front on the top. You can change uh, overexpose and underexpose. So you can sort of hack the ISO, which is usually very hard for point and shoots that have DX code uh, reading, you can always hack the DX code with a bunch of videos and articles out there to do that. But yeah, you're basically looking for that premium camera, 38 millimeter, 2.8 lens, um, and very well built. But yep. in that range, there are quite a few other options like? Like, well, you can always get the golden context t2 oh then you got all the likes <laughs> yeah uh but that won't be cheap but uh uh my personal favorite because i shoot it daily is the role afm 35 also available as fuji film class a and fuji film class e s mm -hmm. with a bit tweaks this one but it's uh you know this very similar size uh, metal construction. You can um, use change the aperture too. Yeah, you can change the aperture. You can do the same focusing, guesstimation. It's a 38 2.6 when this was 38 2.8. So I I guess it's Fuji very Fil similar. Yeah, Fujifilm just made it to mess with contacts. I mean mm -hmm. that to be truthful about it yeah um, then there is also the natural version of uh, fujifilm that was uh, a 1.9 lens yes and uh it was uh, optimized with the natural films mm -hmm. to like do night mode night and all mode that. Uh, but this isn't significantly cheaper this one goes now for almost a thousand euros um and uh, these one go for i think 600 ish kind yeah of in the premium in the premium point and shoots there's not plenty of options but there's around a dozen you have the fuji um what is it the class uh w i think yeah yep. you have the um, leica mini looks the class s the konica xr af which is not really a point and shoot it's a middle ground between uh, point and shoot and um, range finder sort yeah. of it has a 35 f2 lens which to many people is the japanese sumicron like the leica a sumicron you can change the aperture one main problem with this camera is max shutter speed is 1 250th of a second so if you're like me and you like pushing your film it becomes an issue it has silent mode so it can become extremely quiet but it's a little bulkier but it, these nowadays are what 600 700 euros mm -hmm. approximately refurbished yeah and the contacts t2 is around 
800 to 1000 depending on the color and the condition. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a great option to consider for that. And it's a f2.0. Uh, yeah, f2. Uh, it, that, the lens is amazing on this one. It's, yeah. the, that's the best part. Of it's the only reason you would put up with a 250th of a second yeah, but is the one, lens. This one doesn't have a flash. Doesn't have a flash. It had an accessory a shoe. hot shoe that you know had a little flash on top, which is actually works fairly well. And then if we go, you know, a little lower from that, we have the premium sort of point and shoots that we did a video on the Olympus uh, MG and alternatives. I'll link that below. But if you are looking for something like the T2, but don't want to spend, you know, one grand. You can get the Yashica T4, T5s. Or you can go and see the Olympus Mew 2 video. It essentially has plenty of options. Plenty of options with the same like picture quality, but not as much as like control over it. And mm -hmm. like these are all plastic. So it's, you know. One thing to consider is if you do want to go a little bit over, you can get the Contax T3, yeah. which is even smaller yes. and even more expensive. But do remember, if you're really looking for a point and shoot, yeah. get a point and shoot. But if you don't mind the price point and you're still looking, you could still get a really good rangefinder camera with a lens yeah. for the price of a you know Contax T2. Yeah, in, in fact, I have an just a minute. Yeah. You can talk to that. Yeah, so basically, like I was saying, if you want point and shoots premium, you can go from the $1,000 to a little bit lower. Another premium camera that is actually very nice is the Nikon 35Ti and 28Ti. And um, Yuho is bringing here another option, which is bulkier. Kind of goes in line with the Konica, but it has non-fixed lenses, so interchangeable. And that's the Contax G2 and even cheaper G1. Yeah. The G1, you get essentially the, for the same price as a T2. And you can get it with the 28 millimeter, which is the cheapest of the wide angle lenses. Mm -hmm. It's a 2.8 and uh, that's a really nice, you know, kit. Yeah, basically for the same price. And if the body dies on you, because these bodies at the end of the day have certain electronics and are, you know, battery dependent. Yeah, just and these the, two. These two, you can always keep the lens to put on a new body. And yeah. the G1 bodies go sub 500 euros. Yes. So it's not like you know you're not going to cry a lot if it breaks yep. and you can always change it and with the 28 you have a bit more depth because yep. af these are af lenses and cameras so sometimes it's a little messy but the 28 will give you a bit more wiggle room yeah but uh, i think the main reason compact cameras and especially the t2 is popular amongst uh, like uh, famous whatever people uh, is that they are very nice automatically and mm -hmm. the f with the flash they get you get a certain look mm -hmm. um the flash is quite far from the lens on the t2 which makes it like very nice like, it doesn't get you the red eye and mm -hmm. with a nice portrait you get really really good looking basic shots as a you know like you you don't really have to know anything about photography no, yeah these you, get tur you turn it on Basically, this is how it turned it on. You just basically, uh, let me make some space, but you just have to turn the dial and you're ready to shoot. And there, that's a shot. So very simple, fits in your pocket, yep. very well built, either even though they do fail, but very well built and premium. And there's shoots. like less privacy issues, like with a film camera mm -hmm. with fi famous people. I mean, they have to trust their lab, but <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pretty nice to shoot and nobody's going to hack your cloud basically. Yeah. So yeah, these are the alternatives uh to the Contax T2. Of course, if you really want a Contax T2, you can go ahead and buy one. Yep. The ones here at Camera Store have been uh refurbished or fixed or changed and everything, so they're going to working condition. Yep. Uh another thing that happens a lot is the flash gets the little burnt yep. little thing. Still works, but just so you know. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to check uh, the article, the link will be below and the video with uh, Camera Store. Also, if you have any ideas or suggestions for Contax T2 options, leave a comment below. Yep. You can find Yuho at Camera Rescue. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. See ya.